Hi everyone, and welcome Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Transport Fever 2. We're currently looking at our passenger station in Sanctuary Point with some of the people who are just wandering around in the background. Just had some buses turn up and drop off some people. So we have two plans uh, for what we're going to do today, but it's mostly just one. Um, and that is to extend this rail line down here to Yarrawonga. Because if we look at the traffic here, it is completely chocker block. Uh, going all the way into the city. So that's something that we're going to resolve um, by adding in public transport. The other thing we're going to do is come over here and look at some of our things we haven't paid attention to in a while. So we've got a lot of um, coal and uh, iron stored up. And our two pickup points, they're doing pretty well, keeping on top of everything. Um, but our train line, definitely not. Over here, our um, slag transfer line, also not doing the greatest. Could do with some more capacity. And as well, our oil, oops, in here. I've got a lot of oil sitting at the platform. So that's the three things that we are going to address today before we come in and extend our rail line. So the first one we're going to do is this um, oil, since we're already here. I'm just going to just go straight up and say we're replacing these vehicles. So we're going to give them the Nohab, which we um, unlocked in the last episode. And the carriages they'll use are now going to be bigger tanker cars. So we're going to keep adding these, watching our length. So our platforms are 320 meters long, so we can only uh, come to here, 316. Speed, still reasonable. Uh, just for comparison, this has a capacity of 300. Our existing trains... Ooh, 315. Wait, how do they have more capacity? That doesn't make any sense at all. That doesn't make any sense at all. Maybe because they're smaller and slower? I'm not sure. Uh, either way... We're replacing them with these guys. And we'll colour them grey to match the line. So that each one each train now is taking slightly less oil, but they're moving faster, which should hopefully increase our transfer rate. 2400. And this line only does 2000. Okay, we might need to come back and look at this again. Possibly extending these platforms. One. Let's just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And each one is 40 meters. So that's 320. And over here, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight again. Interesting. Can we? Add a platform here. And what does it... Let's just pause before we do that. In case it completely breaks everything. Okay, let's keep going and see where this guy actually stops now. So he still stops at the regular station and doesn't use this new part. Okay, so let's pause. We're going to delete these sections of line. We'll add in extra station parts there. Um, let's just give them a platform on the other side just for completeness. And then we want to connect these lines up. And we'll give them a little diamond in here. So, not going to let me do that. 
We'll do the other side first then. So we can go from there to out here. And then basically opposite. Why don't you let me draw these in? Okay, so we can do that one. Now this one. There we go. So that bit of track isn't actually used by anything, but just makes it look a little bit nicer. Okay, so we made that platform longer. Let's come up here now and make this platform longer. Give it some more track and then get those trains. I'm going to edit them. Now, now we've got a length of 340. So we can still only add one carriage. That's kind of a bit frustrating. At least now our capacity is the same. We have a higher speed. Okay, let's do that one. Color them again. Press play. Right now, three... Wow, that actually increased it a lot. Maybe we were too too quick to extend out our stations. Either way, we are going to take it. Because um, now we've got bigger trains um, that are faster. So that will help here. This will eventually mean that uh, we're going to have more oil produced here. We'll deal with that later. The other thing we had to look at was our coal and steel. So we've got two pretty old trains on there. Now the rate of coal, we'll just take this for example, uh, 800. Our trucks are going at 773. So they're keeping on top of it, but our train definitely is not. So let's replace these vehicles. Not edit. Replace these vehicles. Again, we're going to go no hab. And these platforms are as well, 320 meters long. So we'll fit as much in here as we can. Capacity 273. Before, capacity was 200. So we're going to get a massive increase. Right, let's replace those and we'll color them. Then we're going to put the same train on our uh, iron line. So the no hab and then Add these out to 273 capacity. Whoops, too far. We didn't check the speed. Uh, looks like they're good. Okay, and you are gonna go orange. Wonderful. So that will help move more of uh, these goods. The rate on that line now. Oops, wrong spot. This one. You might have to wait a bit for it to catch up, but it should be much more now. That's those two. Now we were also over here with our um, our slag. We've got a lot of that queued up here. We've only got one little train on there. Let's replace him. You can probably guess where we're going here. And that brownie type color. So we've still only got the one train, but he's a lot bigger. 248 should be okay. Here he is here. Just making his way in for the first time. I'm up here whilst we're looking. These look Melton tool delivery. Why do you have fuel on that line? Uh, you only pick up tools. Thank you. Why would you want to send? It makes no sense at all. Okay, so that's it's going there. We're looking for other big icons down here. Got a lot of fuel queued up there. Oh, a new steel mill. Sanctuary Hill. That's that guy over there. Rate one forty nine. Or Swan Hill. 
Um, this wants 159, so I think we just need some more, some more trucks on there. Sour type C. Let's put another vibe on there. See how it goes. The other thing we've got here is construction materials. That's the long journey over there. Rate 155. They want 176. So again, I think we just add... Let's make it 20. A few more vehicles on there. We've still got the newer ones. Yep. So I think they're going to be okay. Once we get all those new trucks out and about. Over here. Got a lot of... A lot of... Uh, transfer bread queued up here. So let's significantly increase... The number of trucks we have taking that transfer bread over to uh, Sanctuary Point. But over here in Sanctuary Point, these trucks haven't got a lot queued up there. Waiting. Now our alcohol going back looks fine. Okay, that's just a timing thing. The grain going down. Got a lot of grain here. So, we might just clone that train. And we've got a lot of food going back, that's okay. A grain here. We've got it. I mean, if we're just looking at our trucks. One truck pulls up as the next one's leaving. So we don't have a lot of space there. For adding in more trucks. So this is where we're going to can't add more platforms on that side so I guess we'll add it on this side. But we're going to need to add a second line in here. Just to get the, the throughput. So let's go this is is not that. It's this one. Let's call that one. We're going to say new line. Same thing two. And you go from there to there. We're going to make sure we copy everything. So at Midgong Central, we load grain, unload everything. Okay, Midgong Central, we load grain, unload everything. We're also going to tell you to wait for a full load. And you pick up from the other platform there, that's good. Over here in East, we want you to drop off at the other platform as well. Nice. Right, let's get some trucks on there. Uh, our, here's, our, here's our grain truck. Uh, let's go five to start. Because I forget how many are on the other line. Twelve. Okay, so I think five on that that other one will, will be okay. I'm just going to need to wait for the game to work out to... Um, put some green on both lines. It just takes a little bit sometimes. There we go. Uh, so that will help there. We definitely have a lot of green queued up here. Why is that? Oh, it's because our new train goes south at the start. Okay, so that will resolve itself in time. Alright, let's just take a quick peek here at our oil. Seems okay. I mean, it's... It's 
pretty tight in there, but they seem to be managing. And our resources over here, not, not really managing that well at all. It's had a full iron leave, but another one coming. Still completely chock a block. Here's our coal train, here's another coal train. I mean, there's already uh, so many trains on there. I'm hesitant to add another one. Or two. But I think we might have to. We'll leave it for now. Uh, see how it goes once everything settles down. Oh, that train here. Okay, you're fine. Okay, so that's all of the little fires put out. Let's get our, our public our transport extended across here to Yarrawonga. Now the first step is where we're going to bring in in the train. If we take a look at uh, which one is it? Uh, this one. Got our industry over here, uh, commercial down here. All of this is residential. Unfortunately, that's where we're going to have to. Uh, build out on this side so we can continue on to highlands there's just not enough space down this edge to fit anything in so our train line will have to go over this side so let's put our bus depot in here Which way do we want them coming in? I think that will be okay. Let's put it out a little bit, maybe here. We'll just do a little quick configuration on it. Oops. We want bus stations on there. Uh, we'll make them a little bit longer. And we'll also add a, a nice passenger building on there. I know our livestock is closing. I'm okay with that. So that will give us two bus routes for around Yarrawonga. And now, we'll upgrade that street and that street. We'll extend this street. We want bus lanes on these. And lastly, get some little connections going in here. So one into the station, one out of the station. And get rid of the traffic lights. So that's where our bus will go. Now we need to get the train line in there as well. So we're just going to have a straight through platform. 240 I think is the length we picked for these other ones. Let's just check. Uh, yep. Oh, we definitely want the high speed track. I think we put it somewhere like this. Get it this nice big road. Uh, yes, bus lane. We'll curve it around. Around here like this, maybe. Maybe we'll just keep it going all the way around. Like that. And then get our train station on here like this. Not the not the greatest looking that thing we've ever made. Maybe we'll do that to there and then connect this bit up. So it looks slightly less out of place. 
can smooth all of this out a bit. Along the station we'll flatten it and then smooth the edges. Same here. I mean that corner it works. So they're connected. That's the important thing. And now we need to get this over there. So let's get our track. We're going to come straight out here. Uh, yes, go down the hill. We're going to cross these over. And then we just need to connect it up basically. And we'll put that across on this side as well. We're probably not going to use it. But having it there gives us options later. So let's maybe come to here. If we follow the terrain, let's lower it. Yep, that, that looks good to me. Um, now we're going to need to work on this road. So we'll pause. We'll delete these sections so that we can get this train line through. Done. And now we've got to go back. Lots of things are going to complain because we had many vehicles using that road. So we'll delete one more section. And then get our country road back. Oops. We're gonna go and we're gonna curve a bit to come out this way. And then go up. Uh, up, yes, let's pick. A nice bridge like that. Say okay. And from there, we'll cross like that. That is pretty steep at the end here. So let's delete one more section. Bridge pillar collision. Okay. We'll come across here then. Let's just tell it to stay flat. works. Okay. But now we're going to need a little bit more space again uh, for you to come down there like that. So that turned into a giant bridge. But I think it's going to be okay. Let's just delete those sections. We're going to See if we can't get this, this bit here not bridged. Okay, just like that, and then the same on this side. So if we delete those sections, we come in here and we raise these up a bit. We connect that to there, and then now that everything is hooked up, we can smooth these out a bit. So it's like we've built up a bit of a hill, or a little short bridge. I mean, that's a massively high bridge. It only needs to be down here. Oh well. But everything's okay now, so let's press play. It will take a bit for all of the cars that get compressed into the ends to work out where they're going. Uh, like these guys here. They'll get it sorted out soon enough. And these guys, I don't know why they're stopping there. But that lets us extend our train line now. 
So let's do that first. So it's now, we're going to need to rename this. It's going from Yarrawonga to Sanctuary Point to Broken Hill. This guy. Now we want to add a station. So we're going Sanctuary Point, Broken Hill. Then Sanctuary Point. Then Yarrawonga. And in here at Sanctuary Point, we want the first one to be on the other platform. Just like that. I did just see we need to signal this up. So let's get some signals on here. One. So I'm going back the other way. Nice. And we only had one train on there. Much longer route now. We'll put a second train. I'll fix him up so he keeps going. Then we need to get our buses sorted out up here. Because otherwise no one's going to catch the train up here at all when they can just drive. Alright, so our bus stops. So we're going to have a clockwise and anti-clockwise. So let's maybe put one here. And then we're going to keep going up that road up here. We'll come around the corner. Where is our, our other truck drop off? Because that is something that we are uh, we don't want to interfere with. Down there, okay. So we're okay coming down here. Then let's stop over here. Then we're gonna stop down here so we don't interfere. We're gonna keep coming down this front road. Stop here. And then we've got we have to come back up this way. So let's put our stop here. Like that. And then it will come back down here. Ooh. Okay, new line. This is gonna be a bus line. This will be Yarrawonga. Uh, buses, uh, let's do counterclockwise first. Uh, we'll go light green. So we're going to start here. It goes here, to here, to here, to here, there, there. Okay, that seems like a pretty reasonable route. Uh, but Dowding Street. We want you on the opposite platform. Yeah, like that. Nice. And now we want the same thing again. But for our clockwise buses. Let's color them blue. So they go from here. To here. To here. Here. Okay, so they're going to be messed up at this end a little bit, just because they have to go out an opposite direction. Um, that should fix when we upgrade roads. That's good. They come along here. They both turn there. Up around here. Come back the same route. 
Excellent. Um, so let's just get some buses on there before we go too far. We don't have a... We don't have a... That's a lot of bread stopped up there. Those trucks are probably stuck in traffic somewhere. As I was saying, we don't have a, a, a truck depot over here. So let's put one out here. Now we want passenger vehicles. And we want these guys because they're a bit bigger. Let's go uh, six. Now we want them the light green. Onto the clockwise line. Then we'll get another six uh, light blue onto the counterclockwise line. So now people should want to start going to um, Yarrawonga on our public transport route. That's already 60. It's being told 62. Oh, a new coal mine. Um, I'm going to come this way. And 200 on the road. Hopefully that goes down. We've got 200 over here as well. It's a lot of people wanting to move around. It's one hill. Where are they mostly going? Broken Hill Fuel Refinery. There's nowhere from Swan Hill to here. We, we might need to uh, get that fixed. That's a lot of cars going there. From Broken Hill. Oh, everyone going to the refineries on the bus, that's good. Um, but other places, much, much lower. Oh, people here already, already getting ready to go. This is probably going to be a, a mad traffic jam. Oh, I see what's happening. These, are waiting for too long and blocking up the other side. That's the downside of not having, giving them their own entrances. So they'll just get in each other's way. Not much we can do about that, unfortunately. But given the way we've got this set up, we'd need to rebuild it. And this guy is bringing in way more food. Maybe we've just got too many orange trucks. Let's get rid of a couple of them. Come on, we get rid of some and then there's just like more turn up. What are they doing? Here we go. Now we Now we're moving. Maybe we will just be a little bit silly as well and let out a whole swathe of purple trucks just to try and get some of this down. Now, before we get distracted again, we have to upgrade our streets through the city here. So let's pick one of the lines for us to follow it through. Putting bus lines on there, yes. Uh, yes, that's the way I want you to go. And then down here. Yes, that's the way I want you to go. Right, keep going straight down here. And then that one, we come back up here, there, there, there. Now, 
Why are you in the wrong... I don't know why I did switch sides that platform. That's weird. If we look at the other route, it wants to go down this street here. So let's upgrade it for it as well. And lastly, we've got a whole bunch of traffic lights that we don't want. Uh, that we now get to get rid of. Thankfully they're at least all on, on this route. But still, so many traffic lights get put in. Oh, and that bit of road couldn't get upgraded for some reason. Just check here. Yep, they definitely. Look at all these people coming. Good work, people. Not many, but. I don't know how it's at 60 before out here. Definitely. Traffic. It'll take a while for it to um, impact the city, but. Should definitely improve it. Now it said we couldn't build this road here. Buildings will be removed. Okay, just we'll wait for that bus to get to the like closer to the other side. Now we're gonna delete. Yes. And Right back in again. Done. Wonderful. So now we've got oh, some public transport around Yarrawonga and the other cities as well, and some intercity um, transport options. But within the city, it's like all around the edge. There's nothing, nothing super great. And over here in Sanctuary Point, it's the same. Within the city, there's so much uh, going on that it's just super busy. It's better because it's got this central uh, transfer point with some other lines, but it's still still not great. Well, that's an intercity bus route. It still has people on it. Oh, because it brings them here. Fair enough. And then this was our original uh, bus route through the city. If we look at our uh, usage, you can see it's it's not great got tiny buses on it that no one uses. Yeah, that's a lot of things queued up here now. Maybe we went too, too big here. Um, again, the downside of having all of your entrances come in the same point is that they queue up behind each other. What are you stopped there for? Yeah, that was weird. Right, I think we're done for the day. I mean, where are these guys going? They're going home. Over there. You had, like, there's buses over there though, right? Where are these people going? They're going everywhere. At least we've got people on our trains. How's our bus network up here? Doesn't even cover half the city anymore. Maybe we'll do this one to finish off. We're in... 
What? Okay, that's weird. I know we're gonna come out here. Go up this way. Then we'll continue to here, that's fine. Then let's add a new stop up the top there. Now we don't want to add anything on that section. Not because it will interfere with this truck route, like it does here. So let's add new bus stops there. And we've got a stop there. So let's move these. We're going to have another one there. And another one down here. And that one will be removed. Okay, let's get our clockwise line fixed up. So after three, you go up here to Clyde, then to Aldershot. Kensington Avenue doesn't exist anymore. After Aldershot, you come here to Sizer, then down there, and this Dalwood doesn't exist anymore. Uh, but over here, opposite side of the street, please. And then you'll come back in. So that's a much longer route, but should hopefully uh, help it with shifting people around. Now going the opposite direction, from Upper Swan Hill, you now go through here. Don't go through Dalwood anymore. Then come up here. And then here. Kensington is gone. After all the shot, you come up here to Clyde. And then back down the same way you did before. Nice. So those bus stops we're getting rid of and those ones. Now let's just make sure all of our roads are up to scratch. So we're coming up here, we want these upgraded through there, these upgraded through here, then this one, and this one, and along here. And that's our path back in. Okay, wonderful. And then the opposite direction. It should be the same. I'll just check. Looks good to me. And lastly, traffic lights. A couple up there. One got loads over here. Wow, loads and loads over here. What is going on with that intersection right there? Um, so Sizer, you're on the wrong side of the street. Much better. This doesn't make sense here. You get out of here. gonna to want to put that back in so let's say we own that bit of road now the game won't try and connect that up anymore and it will send our trucks through this other route that we actually want them to take we might as well upgrade that so they go more straight we'll downgrade those two and that one to influence our truck to go around that way
Wonderful. Since we're here in Swan Hill, if we take a look at, whoops, uh, where people are going, like, there's lots of paths around the edges of the city. Nowhere like directly across. So if you're going from this residential, you've got to go all the way around the city to get up here to the industry. And the same going back. Same over here with our commercial. So we're going to add in a couple more bus routes to help with that. And again, they're going to be bi-directional. Um, yes, yeah, so that we have buses going each each way. So let's put one set of bus stops are there. We'll reuse that bus stop. We'll reuse that bus stop. We'll reuse that bus stop. I just don't want to interfere with our trucks here. So they're going to come down this way. So we're going here, 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 over there, and then coming back. So let's put them here, I think. So we'll call this another buses line. That's one, one hill counterclockwise uh, industry buses. Um, but we don't want it labeled like that. We'll go industry buses counterclockwise. So that we can create another one. Just called clockwise. So we're going to start here. Uh, they'll go through that stop. Through that stop. That stop. That stop. Then that stop and come back down here. So it's not much shorter, um, but for these people up here, it's, it is a lot shorter. And it will just give them options for getting around the city. Okay, now this one will color it a brighter yellow, and we're going the opposite way around. So we're starting here. Going through our residential areas first, up here, down here, through there, and back around. Uh, that street needed upgrading. Oop, yes to bus lanes. The others, I think the rest of them should be okay. They are. So let's just get a couple of little buses on there. We haven't got a depot over here. So let's get ourselves a depot over here. Um, maybe just three on each of these because they are smaller lines. Oops, we'll see how they go. Uh, bright yellow. Okay, so that gets them through the industry. We also need to get them down here to our commercial area. And this should just be reusing our existing 
uh, stops. So commercial and commercial clockwise. Okay, here's our counterclockwise. So only going in this side now. We're not going through the industry area up there. So let's say here. We're not going to stop at the train station. Um, you go... There. Do we want it to come back through down here? I'm going to say yes. Um, we'll let it stop there as well. And then through our residential areas. Okay, so Elmira Street there is not a great... Um, uh, great bus stop location. So we're going to add in a couple more. Uh, yeah, this one. Manage line. So not Elvira, not Geary, not Oldfield. After Greenbank, stop there. And since you're going past, you may as well stop there. We really want to stop over here. Blue line, manage. It's after Elmira. Stop there. And go around. Okay, that works. Oops. Now the clockwise buses will make it a darker shade of blue. So you're starting here. Going this way around. And then you come back. Well, it's because this doesn't have a stop on the opposite side of the road. There we go. So more direct commercial bus routes. And we just need to upgrade that section there. Let's check out traffic lights. No traffic lights anywhere, good. And we'll put, again, just a couple of trucks or buses on each of those lines. Um, that light blue, clockwise line, we'll get three more, color them darker blue on the other line. You can already see people wanting to use this one. If we take a look at our overview of the map looks like we've got less people uh, driving around in the city and not leaving there's still a lot driving out um, but within the city it looks looks a bit less we have a look at our line statistics uh, buses oh it's just all vehicles So our two blue lines don't have anything yet, but our, our big outside lines do. Our industry lines have a couple of people, not a lot, but a couple. We started getting our first guy on one of our uh, commercial line buses, which is excellent. So they will continue to pick up and do better as time goes on to make Swan Hill a much nicer place to get around. Now this train here, we've got two, good. What's the rate on those? 97 seconds, that's pretty quick. All these bus stops with people waiting there, that's what I like to see. Well, I don't want to see people waiting, I want to see people on the buses. 
and not stuck in this traffic, which is what all of our public transport is designed to do. Hopefully when we come back next time, we will see less public transport. And uh, Joshua Patel, who's driving somewhere uh, to Yarrawonga. Well, he's driving partway by car and then he's using public transport. Interesting. But that is another thing that we have to consider. Getting people from over here, oops, from over here to over there. And hope that they transfer at our station down here. Looks like they might. Um, if we take one last look over here. Looks like we've got people in and around and moving. No one waiting too much. Around here, we've got a lot of people driving still. But we're starting to get some people using public transport. So we need to do the same thing again. Instead of just having this go around the edges, get some cross, cross city buses. That will really help it out. The same here in Sanctuary Point. It's a bit harder because it's smaller, but some cross city buses will really help it out. 200 people driving along there. Don't even know where all of these are coming from. But thank you very much, everyone, for stopping by. Stop giving way. You've got right of way on the road. Um, thank you very much, everyone, for stopping by today. I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, do consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel. It does help out a lot. Otherwise, I'll catch you all next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now.